Hello everyone. In this video, we would look at how you can apply for the BR admission colleges, for the BR colleges which are there in Tamil Nadu, which is through the process of TNEA. Hello everyone, this is Suraj and you are with Think Institute of Design. Before we begin, let me just have an audio check with my host. Host, uh, is my voice audible? Are we good to go? Yes, sir, you're audible, sir. Thank you. So when we are talking about the BR admissions in Tamil Nadu, it is the TNEA body that is doing the particular admissions. That is the Tamil Nadu engineering admissions. Don't be confused. It's the same body that's doing admission for both engineering and uh, BR, that is Bachelor of Architecture. Now in this particular video, we would only be dealing with the BR admissions. Okay. So the conducting authority is TNEA and the official website is www tneaonline.org so you can go on to that particular website and apply now which are the colleges that you can get into which are the colleges wherein you can join if you apply via this particular portal is what we are going to look at in the next portion so there are basically three types of colleges the first one is the university department of anna university that is the school of architecture and planning the famous prestigious school uh, if you want to get into BR uh, in BR course in that particular campus, again, you have to apply via the TNEA BR admissions. The other one, the other second set of colleges that you can get into is the government aided engineering colleges. And the third one is obviously the surrendered seats by the self-financing engineering colleges. So these are the three types of colleges that you would be able to get into if you want to join BR in Tamil Nadu via the TNEA admission procedure. Okay. One very important thing that is mandatory, you should know before we are going into the procedure and all is that you have to qualify NATA 2022. It is a must. Okay. Now your rank and all those things would be based on two things. First one is your academic marks in the qualifying examination. When we are talking of qualifying examination, it is your 10 plus two, that is 12 standard exam or diploma 10 plus three exam. And the second thing is, your NATA score, that is the National Aptitude Test in Architecture, which is conducted by Council of Architecture. So based on these two scores is what finally the rank list and all would be prepared. How it is prepared, what are the weightage <clears throat> and all those things, we would deal with it in the coming slides. Before that, there is a very important thing that we need to look at, that is the nativity criteria. That is, what is the nativity criteria which makes you eligible to apply for this? A lot of students have been asking whether students from other states can apply or what are the criteria to apply for TNA BR admissions. Okay, so there are six nativity options that they have given. Six groups of students are eligible to apply. You can look through these six criteria, <clears throat> and if you belong to even any one of them, then you can definitely apply to start off with. It is the students who have passed classes 8th to 12th from Tamil Nadu. So 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th, if you have passed from Tamil Nadu, then you don't even need a nativity certificate. You can straight away apply. The second set of students who can apply are the ones who have passed their 8th to 12th. Any Tamil Nadu native candidates who have passed their 8th to 12th from any state outside Tamil Nadu. Let's say, for example, somebody who has passed uh, their 12th, 8th to 12th from Karnataka or Bihar, they are eligible, provided they are Tamil Nadu native candidates. So you need to have a nativity certificate. In the second category, you need to prove your nativity. And for that, you will need an e-certificate or an in, in an electronic form, which is issued by officially the government of Tamil Nadu. This is the second set of students who are eligible to apply. Third set of students are the children of central government employees, irrespective of whichever state they belong to. So if you're working in the central government, let's say, for example, the um, Department of Post or any of uh, such kind of uh, departments you're working on, and you're from any other states. Even if you if you actually belong to Gujarat or Maharashtra and all, you are eligible to apply provided for the past five years, your parent have been working in Tamil Nadu. Okay. <clears throat> so from the employer of that particular entity, you, your parent will have to get a certificate and you have to approve that also. Coming to point number four, the criteria number four, children of um, employees in the public sector undertakings they are also eligible to apply again provided for the last five years your parent either of the parent has been working in uh, tamil nadu you are again eligible to apply point number five 
sons and daughters of all india services so the ips ias officers and all if uh, they have been working they have been allotted the tamil nadu cadre then they are eligible their children are eligible to apply there has to be a self declaration given by the parent this is the fifth set of students who are eligible to apply the last is other state candidates who have studied again 8th to 12th in tamil nadu their also nativity certificate is not required so these two slides that i have shown this one and the previous one it comprises together and clarifies the six eligibility criteria that tnea has officially released if you belong to any one of these six criteria you can go ahead you can definitely apply okay so if you are eligible with respect to this nativity even in any one of the criteria the next thing that comes is qualifying exam and eligibility there are mainly two things that you need to note first is the qualifying examination that is your 12th standard or your diploma either of it you can pass either your 12th standard and in 10 plus 2 format or your 10 plus 2 format <coughs> sorry about my voice uh, so if you have passed your 12th standard with a minimum of 50 percentage with physics chemistry mathematics you can apply you are eligible to apply or if you have passed your 10 plus 3 with your mathematics with mathematics it's a compulsory that you have to pass your 10 plus 3 diploma with mathematics with 50 percentage aggregate again you can apply either of the cases it's 10 plus 2 12th standard or 10 plus 3 diploma okay now as i said earlier you have to qualify nata 2022 if there are students who are still wondering what is nata 2022 <clears throat> nata is basically the aptitude test that is conducted for architecture by council of architecture it's a purely aptitude based exams Uh, you'll have multiple choice questions or uh, multiple select questions and all. You just have to look at the question, write the answers. It's purely aptitude based questions without any drawing. Three times they conduct NATA this year. Two of them has already been completed. But don't get worried. The third one is about to come. You still have time to apply for that. The last date of registration is twenty fourth of July. You can go to NATA dot in N A T A dot I N. you can go there even now the portal is open you can go and apply till 24th you can apply the exam would be held on 7th of august and if you are confused about how to prepare we have our new crash courses that are coming from the 16th of july we have english batches we have hindi batches we have malayalam batches it's completely up to you on how to uh, on which batch to join and things like that so you have ample amount of time you can smoothly prepare you can score really well and you can join your dream course okay now talking about the rank list preparation how is the rank list going to be prepared so there are basically two things that were mandatory right the first thing that i had told was your uh, qualifying exam so that is basically your 12th standard or your uh, 10 plus 3 to everyone who is watching any any questions doubts and all in between please do not hesitate you can post it in the live chat box we would love to take it okay so uh, the first thing is your qualifying mark so basically if you are clearing your 12th standard that mark or your 10 plus 3 diploma that mark would be considered converted to that would be converted to 200 again nata marks would also be taken nata would be out of 200 so out of 200 nata how much you are getting plus in your 12th standard or your 10 plus 3 diploma how much you are getting that also would be converted into 200 both of that would be converted to 200 so 200 nata marks 200 your 12th standard marks combining both of that together out of 400 they will prepare a mark that you have got based on that they will decide on what is your rank every student will have scored a mark out of 400 based on that whoever gets highest would be rank 1 the second highest would be rank 2 so on and so forth okay so this is how the rank list would be prepared so i hope now the qualifying criteria qualifying examination what is mandatory what is nativity all those things have been clarified let's now go on to the process now talking about the process tna has quite a, a simple process they have, they had started the application form from the 20th of uh, june and they would be ending it on the 19th of july at least as of now that is what they have decided okay after that they will assign some random numbers they have also certificate verification centers tfcs they are called tna facilitation centers you can go there you can apply you can get your certificates verified and things like that then your rank list would be published by the 8th of august then you have your online counseling from uh, the month of august and slowly after that you can join the corresponding campuses that you have got okay now while you are applying there are certain things that you should have the minimum list of things that you have you should have is shared we have taken all of this from the brochure from the official brochure 
the link for the same would also be provided in the description of this particular video. You can click on that and download. Okay, so basic things like your 10 standard marks, your 12 standard marks. Later on, you need to upload your NATA scorecard, community certificate or caste certificate if you are taking a preservation and things like that. All those things are required. Okay, I think the brochure link has also been shared in the live chat box. So anyone who is watching and interested can click and join. It can click and download. Okay, so this is basically the website. If you go to tnaonline.org, uh, this is the website. As you can see, B, BTEC, BR, it's all the same. We are only discussing about BR in this particular life. So you can click on BR and uh, you can click on the uh, new registration option in BR. Once you go there, you will have to give a few personal details like your name, mobile number, email ID, and things like that. Once you give all those details, they'll, if you've given your mobile number correctly, please know that you give a mobile number which has the messaging facility and all, you will get an OTP. Once you get that OTP, you can submit it. You will get your profile activated. You will have a username. You will have a password. Write it down somewhere. You can log in. So you have made a profile now. Once you have made a profile, then you can go and give your personal information. That is the first step. There are step-by-step -step procedures. The next step is giving your personal information. So things like which uh, corporation, municipality, and all you belong to, your permanent address, mother tongue, nativity, nationality, and things like that, and all will have to be given. Once that is done, if you are eligible for any special reservations, you have to give the details. Okay, so any sports personality is a differently abled or ex serviceman quota or anything of that sort is there for you, then you have to look at this. And you also have TFC centers for these special reservation verifications. So you can select based on the districts, you can select that and you can move on it. In the third step, if you want to get any scholarships, you can apply that. It will be based on the annual income of your parents. Once uh, that is entered, you can give further details about the scholarship at all. Then you move to the school details. So in school details, you have to give the entire list of details of the schools wherein you have studied from class 6th to class 12th. This is again something that is related to your activity. So please do not bluff on this or please do not take on this. They'll, they'll cross check it somehow and they'll ensure that your activity and all comes correctly. Okay. So from class 6th to class 12th, if you're giving the list of uh, schools wherein you have studied and things like that, then that post, that portion is complete and you can go ahead and you can give the academic info. Academic info is nothing but your uh, score, um, your roll number of your 12th standard examination or your diploma examination and things like that. So what qualifies you for this exam is what is meant by qualifying examination, nothing else. So it's because you have completed 12th standard or it's because you've completed diploma that makes you eligible for uh, applying for this particular course. So you have to give the details of that. Okay, which group, which uh, SSLC, how much marks you've got and things like that. Okay, so you can give all those requirements, HSC, what's the mark that you've obtained and things like that. And once that is complete, you can go ahead and you can preview the whole thing. Preview in the sense like whatever you have given till now, personal info, reservation details, scholarship, uh, school details and academic information, whatever you have given till now, you can just preview that. If all of that is correct, you can go ahead, go ahead for payment options. Okay. Once you click on the pay option, you'll uh, get a screen which shows various payment options like debit card, credit card, and things like that. If you click on that, you can uh, do the payment. Uh, you would mostly, you most probably get a mail confirmation regarding the payment and things like that. Okay. So this is basically an overview of how to apply. Okay. If you still have issues, things which are not sorted out and all, you can post below this particular video. The recorded video would be available or you can also contact them. I think there's also a toll free number. Hopefully the 1-800-425-0110 is a toll free number. Okay. The other numbers also you can contact or you can mail them. Also. Okay. Absal um, Nihal says for other states also, can you make something like this? Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll come up with the other states also. Okay. Any other questions or queries, please let me know in the live chat box or otherwise we would uh, in this session. Now, regarding how to join Think Institute or how is it that you can avail the facilities, how is it that you can details about the fee structure, when does the course begin, what all are the things that are offered in the courses and all, you can contact us at this number. Okay. English, Malayalam, Hindi, Tamil, whatever language you're comfortable in, you can call us and talk to us in that language. Okay. Please do not hesitate. You can also WhatsApp us, we will respond. Okay. So we cover the entire topic. 
we cover the entire syllabus for NATA exam. So you have ample amount of time. So students are still wondering about whether to apply or things like that. We'll definitely uh, suggest you to start preparing right now. Okay. Um, Absal, you can, regarding the colleges, regarding uh, the best colleges in Tamil Nadu, you can contact us at 8086-111-024. Okay, we would give you the list of colleges that are good in Tamil Nadu. Okay, 8086-111-024. I would also request the host to please share that number also, 8086-111-024. Okay, so that would be it. If there aren't any further questions, thank you everyone for uh, joining. Okay, Absal, thank you. Thank you everyone and thank you host.